Hello viewers, this is Matthew Sam, first time adding my voice on the internet and for a first tutorial I'm going to show you how to run Windows Phone 8.1 on your um, on your virtual PC or on your na um, PC as your native OS um, without requiring uh, an, any uh, Windows 8.1, Windows Phone 8.1 SDK installations so what I did I basically pre-compiled a virtual hard disk um, what, what you need to um, you can download the virtual hard disk image um, from the link I left below in Google uh, in Google Plus what you need to do is just download it okay I already downloaded it um, extract you can extract it if, um, using uh, a software called 7-zip uh, uh, which are, whose link I left also in the description so and uh, you, you get the, this v VHD file so how do you do use it what do you do with it well you can basically do anything you want with it but um, in order to use it properly what you need to do is run a virtual PC and um, there are many software applications um, such as um, that do so, such as VirtualBox, the one which I'm going to use, which I will leave also a link in the description. Um, you've got Hyper-V, VMware, um, and, and lots of others, but um, VirtualBox I find to be very easy to use, and this is the one which I have installed, so... Um, the, I have already configured a virtual machine that boots from the um, from the uh, virtual hard disk on Windows Phone, and he, here you see it booting. It's a, it, um, because this is a virtual PC. It does not run that fast and smooth. Okay, so and th that is to be expected, uh, especially if. Uh, you, your computer is not the top of the line album. So this is the um, Windows Windows Phone running on the virtual PC. Obviously, this is the Windows Phone 8.1 um, emulator, um, the official one produced by Microsoft. Obviously, you can't make calls on it because it doesn't suck. Um, it, or PCs don't have cell phone hardware. Okay. Um, but ev everything else is basically the same as Windows Phone. I mean, you can use it. You can also touch the screen and swipe. Uh, I don't have the screen, so I can't show you um, on, on touch. But you can. I can use. You can use it with the mouse, and also you can use the um, keyboard shortcuts, whose link I will leave in the description, to browse in, in the in the Windows Phone emulator easily one small um, inconvenience for people who, who do not have touch screens on their PC is uh, that you can't see where your mouse is exactly so you are uh, clicking almost blindly um, and what you see on the right half of the screen the, the, it is just and because it is not reference, that is, um, w what you see there is just some buffering garbage. And um, because Windows Phone does not um, actually use that part of the display, so it, um, the, there, the graphics memory is not managed well. Okay, so that part will just be fragmented. So. I'm just part of the machine. So, what uh, I will do now is run Windows Phone natively, okay, on my computer, just for fun and to show it. Um, what I use uh, will use is a, is a program called WinImage, um, which I, whose link I will also leave in the description. Um, you have to open a blank instance of uh, WinImage and run restore virtual hard disk image on, on uh, physical drive. Now what I'm going to do now 
um, is place that image byte by byte on my hard disk um, uh, on, on a separate hard disk this will be aware that this process completely wipes out your current data okay so so mm, be sure to have uh, to use an, ex an external disk which you are not using and you are using it just for um, you, you will use it just for an experiment okay so I click OK select the Windows Phone image okay and click yes no um, no I I already um, but put place um, the image on the hard disk it took only about three minutes it's not a very large um, it's it's not a big problem um, as in to how much it takes so what I will do is just restart my computer and boot from the Windows Phone uh, hard disk image okay so it's restarting All right, all right. So I booted, pressing the um, de delete, or you can also press F2 in order to enter the BIOS. And, and this is an ASUS motherboard, okay? So I booted from the Windows Phone hard disk. It's act it actually takes as much time as um, as regular Windows 8 to boot. Or maybe a just a little bit more, which is very surprising, as you would assume that Windows Phone is smaller than Windows 8, and it would run like light lightning fast. I don't know. Okay, so it has booted. All right. So we've got the Windows Phone. Now you can you you can't use the mouse and the native um, Windows Phone only touch screen. But I don't have touch screen. Um, what I can demonstrate is by pressing, for example, F3 in order to open the search. Um, F1 back. Um, as you can see, there is also the buffer fragment on the right um, and also um, the image is cropped because the monitor attention is horizontal it, you see glitches is because I'm pressing different but the right is, is, is always going to be glitching just in the PC hope you enjoy it and uh, thank you for watching subscribe um, like if you like the video dislike if you dislike the video and comment if you have any comments or questions. And uh, see you for the next tutorial. If there will be any. Bye.